Excellent! Hello everyone and welcome back to Paul's Hardware. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this wireless gaming headset from Astro. This is the A50. It's designed for use with the Xbox, PlayStation 3, or of course, PC. Alright guys, so here is a closer look at the Astro A50 wireless. And uh, what, what, what can we say about this one? This is a very popular headset. This is a, the successor to the very popular A40, uh, which has been out for a while. And uh, Astro makes some really high quality headsets. They're very popular for use uh, with gaming, of course. This one is set up for Xbox, PS3, PC use, 5.8 gigahertz wireless band, uh, also Dolby Pro Logic 2. Yes, uh, I always forget. It. I, I can never tell if that's 2x or 11x. And every time I'm not sure, I look it up and then I immediately forget. Anyway. I'll leave it at that for now. Here's a look at the back of the box. Uh, we can see pro quality audio with EQ modes, superior fit and finish. This is an over the ear headset. Uh, it also includes a precision microphone uh, and it's tuned with Astro Audio. Uh, again, 5.8 gigahertz wireless technology and built in Mixamp 5.8. So here's kind of a layout of uh, everything that comes in the box, headset, stand. Uh, item number three there, which is of course your uh, MX Mixamp TX transmitter. It's actually the newer TXD. Uh, includes EQ modes accessible via the uh, side of the ear cup. You also have a volume wheel, also on the side of the ear cup. Uh, game and voice balance, which you can essentially do by uh, actually accessing the right side of the ear, cap ear cup. So I'll show you guys that in just a moment. Also, there'll be 7.1 channel compatible, so you can actually do. Uh, multi-channel audio and uh, this has become more popular for gaming in particular because positional audio can often be a boon to those folks who especially are playing like first-person shooter type games. You also have an auxiliary input that's on the uh, actual trans transmitter transmitter slash receiver uh, and then you also have an optical pass-through so if you're using a gaming system that has optical well you can pass through it and that way you can still uh, access your uh, audio even if you're for instance switching it over from using the headset to uh, home theater for example here's the specs uh, trans these are open air uh, so bear that in mind they are not going to be blocking uh, very much outside noise but that can often be good uh, frequency response of 20 to 20,000 kilohertz uh, hertz to kilohertz I should say uh, also a nominal impedance of 48 ohms uh, the weight without the cable is 0.8 pounds. It is a little bit heavier than the A40. Uh, you also have 108 decibel signal to noise ratio. Uh, ear coupling is over the ear. Uh, distortion of less than 1%. Connector is a 2.5 millimeter Xbox Live chat port as well as a mini USB. Uh, you also have the mic which is unidirectional and noise cancelling. Uh, you also have that in other languages. USB power, uh, 5.8 gigahertz. Optical in, aux in, some more details. Also the contents of the box listed right there, which I'm going to be pulling out in just a moment there. Support information for the Astro website. Let's go ahead and pop this out of the box and take a closer look. We have a sleeve, and it simply opens like that. All right, so the first item that we have here is the Mixamp TX transmitter. As you can see, it's got the Astro logo on the top. Sort of a semi-gloss finish. Uh, you have power button right there, as well as uh, the Dolby button right there that you can activate. Flip around to the back, you can see this is the Mixamp TXD, which is a slight, slightly newer revision. And uh, it's got, it does have some rubber here on the bottom as well, so that wherever you're setting it down, it's not going to shift around too much. And then here's a look at the back. So we have uh, an auxiliary input, previously mentioned uh, USB, so it does get power directly from the USB. These are some Toslink connectors right there that are currently covered up. So you have the optical Toslink out as well as input. And then you also have a USB port right there. Next up, the headphones. All right. So here's a look at the A50 headset. I should say, not just headphones, headset. All right, so how does this work? Ah, so this just pushes. So uh, this is basically your balance. Uh, you can adjust your balance for voice or for the game audio. And it's got a nice little detent there so you can tell when you're pushing one way or another. Uh, before I talk about the ear cups and the rest of the construction I did want to point to the other. Um, on the left ear cup uh, we have 
a connector there. So if you're going to use Xbox Live, you connect a cable from here down to your Xbox controller, and then you can actually do the Xbox Live voice. Uh, you also have a USB port right there, and that is to charge this headset since, since it does have an integrated uh, rechargeable battery. Over on this side, you have a volume knob. So some nice detents in that as well as you're turning it, so you can tell that you're moving it one way or another. Volume knob. And then over here, we have a small power button. So this is uh, set up for power to power it on as well as to pair it uh, with the Mixamp TX over here. And the uh, same function goes for that power button on that one. And you also have this uh, several position item right here. And I think this changes between several different modes. However, I'm not positive since this is my first look at this particular headset. So um, before I sort of give us a, a second look at this, I'm actually going to go through the rest of the items in the box, which might shed some light on some of that other stuff. All right. Oops. All right. So this is a little card welcoming you to the Astro family and uh, encouraging you to register uh, your your headset so you get support from them and then here's a look at the included instruction manual as you can see it's uh, pretty well laid out indicating of course all that stuff I've just told you aha so here's where we can tell uh, for the EQ mode th these are different built-in it's got a built-in equalizer in in the uh, ear cups so media mode core mode and pro mode I'm not sure what exactly differentiates those but you can switch between them via that handy switch uh, Xbox Live USB charging port Microphone, game and voice balance. Uh, here's information about pairing up the device using the power button and different blinking lights to indicate if it's paired up. And then here's more information on that mix amp. Uh, so the USB port is actually for power to the mix amp and then uh, USB power right there. I'm sorry, the USB port right there is for charging the headset and then this one is actually for power uh, into the mix amp. You also notice uh, here they're indicating that, oh, this is actually a pretty cool feature. So um, the included boom mic right here, when it's down, it's on. If you want to mute it, simply flip it up like that. So when you flip it up, that automatically mutes the mic. Here are the included cables, which I haven't even shown you yet. But uh, this will show you different configurations you can do. So if you're using uh, Xbox, for example, you connect the uh, mix amp via an optical cable and a USB power cable. Uh, and then you go ahead and plug your Xbox Live cable into your Xbox controller. Uh, for PlayStation 3, pretty much the same optical cable and USB power cable. However, that will give you uh, game audio as well. And you don't need the extra cable going over to your controller. And then finally for PC, again, optical or USB power cable. Or if you don't ha uh, happen to have an optical on your computer, I, th I feel like uh, most computers do have it integrated one way or another. But if you don't, you can, of course, plug in straight uh, via that aux input, um, which is a standard 8th inch jack. Uh, here's the stand. doesn't come with an included stand. That's about it for the manual. All right, moving on to included cables. So here, this is the Xbox cable. Tiny little plugs right there. So you can connect it to your Xbox for Xbox audio and headset use. Uh, here's your uh, USB cable there, so standard USB to uh, mini USB. We have another standard USB to mini USB, so you can use one of these again to plug in the Astro for power. Uh, just run it over to a USB plug on your um, computer or your Xbox or your PlayStation for power. Uh, and then the other end, of course, goes into here, like so. Bobbing. All right, now let's take a look at the stand, which I've heard kind of snaps together. Oh, look, there's one more hidden cable here. All right, so this is an actual Toslink cable. There's your optical cable as well, which they've also included. And again, kind of need that to get up and running, so that is also nice of them. Let me assemble this stand for you guys really quick, and then we'll take a look. So here's the stand set up. It simply snaps together, and I'm just going to go ahead and set the headset on it. There you have it. Pretty simple. Uh, keeps it up and off of the ground and a little bit more protected. And then finally, one last look at the headset itself. We've already talked about the boom mic. This is permanently attached, um, which is something of an issue for some folks, but uh, if you're okay with having it on the left side, you should be fine. Got the embroidered Astro logo up on the top. It's a nice padding here uh, on the headrest. Of course, really nice cushioning here in the cuff uh, and ear cups, and you can, of course, 
twist these any which way you please. And then we also have uh, these really sturdy uh, metal uh, adjustment brackets here on the side. You can see the coil kind of, or the, the cord kind of coils up inside there. Uh, the rest of it is mostly constructed of some pretty sturdy plastic, but that keeps it nice and light. Uh, the movement points here are still nice and sturdy though. And trying these on, I can say they're very comfortable. Uh, and it, 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 I haven't given them much of a play test yet, but it does feel like you could wear these for hours on end. And that's going to wrap it up for my unboxing of the Astro A50 wireless gaming sound system, including the A50 headset as well as the Mixamp TXD. You've been watching Paul's Hardware. If you'd like to see more tech videos and unboxings, you can find them on my Paul's Hardware YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, toss a like my way if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you all next time.